Hey everyone! In this video, we will be discussing the alignment settings of Flexbox. Alignment is a crucial aspect that allows you to create a consistent layout across different devices, including tablets, mobiles, and desktops. So let's consider a situation where you need to position a set of elements towards the center or right side. Instead of manually dragging and dropping the elements, which can be quite cumbersome, you can utilize alignment properties to achieve the desired layout without any hassle. These properties are applicable to all containers and elements, such as text. To begin, let's click on the CTA container or the parent of the elements you wish to align. Ensure that the alignment property is enabled as this is essential for the options to function correctly. First, let's talk about the direction property. This property determines the alignment direction for the elements or children inside this container. I think the options are pretty self-explanatory with their respective button icons. The default option is left to right, where the elements are aligned from left to right. The second option is top to bottom, which aligns the elements vertically. The third option is right to left, and the fourth option is bottom to top. These options allow you to align the elements in any desired orientation. Now, let's move on to the wrap option, which will be covered later in this session. The third option is justify content. Although the name might sound technical, you can easily identify the purpose of each option by referring to the icons. The first icon represents left alignment, which is the default setting. Clicking on the second icon aligns the elements to the right. If you wish to center align the elements, you also have that option available. Moreover, if you want equal spacing between the elements, you can achieve that as well using justify content. Keep in mind that these options apply to the horizontal axis. For vertical alignment along the y-axis, you have the align item option. If you want to position the elements closer to the top of the container, use this option. Similarly, if you want the elements to be placed at the bottom of the container, you can select that option. And if you prefer center alignment, that is also possible. These two options, in combination, allow you to align the elements precisely as per your requirements. Furthermore, these alignment options are not limited to just two elements. Even if you have multiple elements, these alignment options will still work perfectly. Nonetheless, when dealing with a large number of elements, the wrap option becomes invaluable. Without it, the layout may appear broken due to lack of space. With the wrap option enabled, the elements automatically rearrange themselves, allowing the container to adjust and fit the elements appropriately. By utilizing these alignment properties, you can effortlessly create any desired user interface and ensure its responsiveness. I hope this tutorial gave you a better idea on the alignment settings. If you have any queries, drop them in the comment section below. Have a good one.